Welcome to American Classics. It is mighty warm out today. Today is Thursday. Where is this fall weather that they've been talking about? Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you just exactly what we got going on here. The reason that I just zoomed in on the card rather than my sign is because if you notice, we don't have a sign on our building. The reason that is, is because we don't advertise to general public. We're a specialty shop. Um, nine times out of ten, it has to be done by uh, appointment or reservation only. Um, again, just some of the projects that we're working on. The uh, International 7400 for SEMA this year, that will be... Uh, actually debuted at this year's SEMA on November 1st through the 4th in Las Vegas. Um, Tony Tolvo is 79 Trans Am that was restored over a year ago, um, just in for some warranty work. Uh, Ted Chapman's wife's Harley. Uh, we're actually custom painting some bags and some side covers for her. Uh, then you got our Mustang that we're going to be custom building a uh, a body kit for real shortly as soon as things uh, uh, quiet down a little bit more um, that Suburban you're gonna see very shortly the same size as Glenn Harris's uh, International we're putting two and a half ton uh, militaries under that with 54 inch tires and that's gonna be street legal then you have Sean 73 Cuda you have uh, Nick's 69 Roadrunner. You have Jonathan's 70 Mach 1. You have uh, uh, AD's 66 Barracuda. Uh, they, these are just some of the projects that we do here. If you notice, you don't see any Hondas, Toyotas, no rice burners. We don't do that here. Hence the name American Classics. American-made cars, okay. Um, American-made bikes. We we don't deal with any any imports, you know. And I mean, you you may be like, oh well, that's not right. That's my shop policy. There's thousands of body shops out there. Go to any one of them. If you want your car done right, you got an American class. If you got American muscle, this is the place you want to bring it to. Um, right now we have. We have uh, a waiting list of almost six months. People are actually paying us cash to hold a spot for them six months from today. So this is the kind of thing that we deal with. Um, as of right now, from October 3rd till October 25th, we will not be taking in any new projects. We'll just be working on what we have and the SEMA truck because right now that truck is taking priority over everything in the shop. Um, and again, I want to thank all the owners of the vehicles that are here currently um, for your patience and, and for allowing us to do that, to put you um, not so much on a back burner, but to give me the time I need to complete that truck. Um, so that way, you know, we, we can, uh, see some of our work at SEMA this year. Uh, not very many shops actually make it into SEMA, so I'm actually very proud of that. Hence the reason why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, come on inside, we're gonna, we're gonna show you around a little bit. The reason that we have all our cars outside, the reason that we have all our cars outside right now is because I just wanted to clean up the shop a little bit and, and organize things. Because, I mean, that is a mammoth of a truck. Look at the size difference from the 79 Trans Am to it. The tires are bigger than the car, <laughs> you know? So, <laughs> we, we, have to, we have to organize a little bit. E even right here is a perfect example. You can still see the tires over the roof line of Tony's Trans Am. <laughs> that just goes to show just how big and massive this truck is. So, we have to, we have to make room. Here's uh, Rob's uh, 69 Le Mans. Another gentleman that has been incredibly patient, you know, and, and I thank every one of our customers for that. You know, your patience means a lot to us. There's our guard dogs, <laughs> Alex and Moxie. Um, they're, they're the shop foreman. <laughs> so, uh, 
you know, I want to take this time and especially thank each and every one of our customers. Uh, Nick, AD, Jonathan, uh, Kuda Bob, who's also back here. Um, uh, Sean, I want to thank Tony. I want to thank Ted Chapman. I want to thank everybody out there. AD in, in Miami. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for allowing me this time I need to complete Glenn Harris's truck. Um, it's greatly appreciated, and it will it, it will come back to you. Um, those that work with me, I work well with, um, and I, I just want to thank you. All right, come on in. All right, here we got some bike parts that we're sitting there taking care of. We, we will have these at Primer because these are actually these these bags used to be on Ted Chapman's bike. Um, these bags are now going on his wife's uh, wife Linda's bike. Um, forgive me if I got the name wrong. Um, Ted, your wife. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. If it's not Linda, I do believe my memory my memory's not as well as it used to be. But I, I think that's what you said. And if it's not, again, I apologize. <laughs> Um, but those bags are going on his wife's bike. They're getting painted that pearl white, and those are actually going to be uh, three tone. These are going to be three tone, um, and her bike is outside currently. The white one. Then we currently have a candy job. This is the new pieces going on Ted's bike. Let me uh, knock the dust off of it because these have been done for a little bit now. All right, let's go outside. And I'll show you the difference in my candy compared to everybody else's. That right there is an American Classics candy. I mean, you don't get much wetter than that. No modeling, nothing. Absolutely flawless. This right here is one of the one of the top bag, one of the top covers to uh, Ted Chapman's bag. Come on this way. This is the reason why we pull all our vehicles out. A body shop is going to get dusty no matter what. You're never going to get 100% of the dust out, but it's always good to clean. This stuff right here is from the cars that we've been working on. We try once a week to pull everything outside to clean all that up. Reason being is when, when you bring your car somewhere and you go into the shop and it looks like a rat's den, you start, ah, I don't know if I really want to put it here. I got a nice car. I understand that. And everyone here at American Classics understands that. So we try to clean up. Now, mind you, it's a body shop. It's going to get dirty, you know? But we don't want it to where you got to constantly step over stuff and, and trip over things. We, we're not into all that. I don't like getting dirty unless I have to. <laughs> we got a 62 Cutlass right here, F85, 64 Willys Jeep, both of them all original. You have Buda Bob 72 Le Mans right here, convertible, with a GTO package. They only made 600 of those. Uh, if I remember right what Bob was telling me, I want to say it was a W30 code, something like that. Um, again, forgive me if I got it wrong, Bob. Uh, my memory is not as good as it used to be. But it is a very rare car, is, is what it boils down to. Um, there's the bags that we just got done airbrushing up. Um, that's what the entire bike of, of Ted Chapman's is going to look like. So look for it in the upcoming uh, photos. So this pretty much is, is as empty as our shop gets. Um, and even so, we still got five, six cars, two, four, five. Yeah, we got about five cars in here right now. The rest of them are all outside. Um, so we're going to get to cleaning and uh, pull everything back in and get the day started. So again, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for allowing me this time I need for the SEMA truck. And... Uh, Thanks. You know, here at American Classics, we take great pride in everybody's car. And uh, we just wanted you to know, you know, personal experience and in person, how much we appreciate your business. 
Again, if you do plan on bringing a car to the shop, it has to be no later than Monday the 3rd. Um, after that, Tuesday the 4th, we're not taking any more cars in until after October 25th. So if you want to get in, now's the time. Um, because it, there's going to be a, over a month waiting period. All right? Golly, is it warm. I can't wait for this fall weather to come. Woo. All right. Well, you guys have a great day here at American Classics. We'll, we'll see you later.